Rangers, but I don't think it's out of the question. All right. So this is Orthworm on... It's kind of in between balance and HO. They have an HO mode on a balance team. That's the best way to describe this. That being said, grow Chien. Grow Chien. All right. This Gothitelle is never showing up to any matches, is it? Uh, let's see. I get a lot more value out of this guy than I would on uh, the... The, uh, what's it called? Elephant Man. There's no delay in the audio, right? Usually when I come back from a bathroom break, there's a delay on the audio for some reason. The in-game audio specifically, not like my microphone. Worm Dragonite, Grochian. Grochian. My Snarl also bypasses subs, so I'm actually gonna Growth here, and I'm gonna Sunny Day immediately to maximize my damage. No delay in audio. Sick. Worthworm looks so silly. He's such a silly little guy. Alright, no terror from them, so Wo Chen should be safe this turn. As they dragon dance, we know what to do about this, right guys? As they body press me, interesting, alright. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna Terra. I'm gonna Terra Wo Chen here. I'm gonna hit him with the Snarl, and I think the Tailwind's worth it. And if, uh, if my Murkrow survives this turn, I should be able to foul play. They go for the Rock Slide. Murkrow dodges. Huge. Please don't flinch. Awesome. That's within foul play range now. And I'm just going to Giga Drain this Orthworm because it doesn't have good special defense. Maybe I just Snarl again, but Giga Drain probably gets me more value. I can also Protect, but I'm pretty sure Snarl just guarantees a KO. Um, let's Snarl here, and I'll Foul Play. That should guarantee a KO versus the uh, Dragonite, as long as I don't get flinched on my Murkrow, but Murkrow should always live. They go for Earthquake. All right. I believe in you. I believe in you, Grow Chen. I believe in you. Come on. Nope. Grow Chen did not live. Luckily, we still have Arcanine in the back. He's in a good spot. Well, my body press, I shouldn't do too much. Oh, they Shed Tail. Hmm. I no longer feel comfortable. Let's think about what we can do here. Um, it depends what they go into. If they end up going into their 
Wo Qian, or not Wo Qian, they're Qian Pao. I can actually hit him with a Terra Flying Dazzling Gleam into a foul play. They end up going into Fluttermane. Okay, this is fine. And their Protosynthesis speed. So I'm going to go into my Flutter here. Oh yeah, I can't Terra. Sorry, I'm stinky. Nice little special attack boost. Let's go for the D-Gleam, and I'm actually going to hit him with the Icy Wind. This foul play doesn't do that much. They go for the D-Gleam. Probably drop to that. Alright. Luckily, I do have my Arcanine here, which is fairly threatening versus their um, Flutter. But I'm going to have to make kind of a hard call. I think here they want to protect their Flutter. It just makes the most sense to me. Chen Pao. At minus one, I'm pretty sure I take the Sucker Punch, so I am going to go ahead and just double attack Chen Pao. Alright, I might be kind of goaded. I, I must admit, I might be kind of goaded. Okay, that didn't work at all. <laughs> that being said, um... I don't see how they come back from this. Granted, I just keep attacking this thing. Because Orthworm can no longer shed tail. And my Arcanine should outspeed. They have to, like, crit a Sucker Punch. Because, like I said, they're at minus one and we're fairly bulky. Oh, my Tailwind's gone. Never mind! We still try this. Live stinky. Fluttermane, absolutely goaded. Broken Pokemon, banned from OU. Thank you. Goodbye. Tell me you like tried to shed tail and failed. Or maybe. I, I, I don't know. It's kind of kind of interesting how this turn goes. I'm imagining it's probably specs on the flutter. On their flutter, I mean. You go for the body press into my Arcanine. Uh, I think I always win now. Because I don't drop the D-Gleam. They can't protect their flutter, I would imagine. And they have to, like, Shadow Ball into me. But if they Shadow Ball into me, I get to D-Gleam. It, it basically just comes down to if my Arcanine lives or drops to the spec shadow. They go for D-Gleam, actually. No, I, I think I lose. <laughs> yeah, I think I lose. Body Press is going to KO me. I thought, I thought I was crazy. I was not crazy. And that doesn't KO either. And I don't have E-Speed. Good game. Look, last session, we are going absolutely crazy with the, with the Grow Chen. This session, not so much. Let's see if we can bring it back. Let's see if we can bring it back. All right, let's continue. Still have a decent rank. Kind of annoyed I dropped out of top 1k immediately.
All right. This is silly. I'm going to say it. It's silly. Let's lead off with this. No, no Grow Chen necessary this game, I think. In fact, I think we just leave Grow Chen at home. Yeah. <laughs> we leave Grow Chen at home because uh, they don't really have anything for Scarf Tusk. Yeah, no. When, all right. So whenever you see the bread dog in Chi Yu, it's like implied it's lava plume. It's basically just that's that's the only thing they ever run. Wait, I'm Terra Steel. Why am I doing that? <laughs> that long rush. Tailwind. Actually, let's just get rid of Chiyu. Thanks for the uh, sub, Mater. For some reason, I thought we were Earthquake. I forgot. Hopefully just body press here, because play rough would hurt. Cool. I don't do too much. Because, uh, Bread Dog's physical defense actually not amazing before they get the boost. Why is Tusk Terror Steel? It's defensive. It's meant to be completely defensive. Basically for these situations. Check this out. Tell me how you think they deal with this. Because here, if I, if they were sane, they would Aqua Jet. However, that Aqua Jet will just bounce off of me as a Terra Steel Pokemon with a really good physical defense stat in the Sunup. But with the Sunup, I still get my my attack boost. That's the silly. That's the silly that we're going for here. Behold. That does way too much. Oh my god. They just yawn me? I'm gonna have to block this guy. Liquidation, I should love that. Yeah, Terra Steel in the sun. Beautiful. Nikki D, did I just play you? Do I need to swap out my Murkrow? Probably not. Um. Also, probably... AV on Azio, I would assume. So let's swap out Murkrow for Flutter. Actually, technically Arcanine's safer. A few games ago by now, but probs. Oh, okay. Well, good game. Oh, they're not AV. Still glad I switched. Body press. Don't eat that, but uh, now we just bring in the flutter. And I'm assuming it's Terra Steel, because there's not really another Terra you'd want to run on this thing, so I'm going to lock myself into Shadow Ball. And I'm going to Flare Blitz this um, Azu slot, because there's not anything they can really do there. Cool. What's coming in on this? Nothing that wants to take it. I'm sorry for your loss.
and we get a crit. <laughs> All right, that was specs with a life orb boost due to um, our ability, and it was, yeah, it stabbed. So I don't know if it would have lived or not. That goes down. That's just game. Has Iron Valiant had a chance to shine in regulation? See, I think there's like a team running around with like Chen, Pao, and Iron Valiant, but I'm not certain. Anyways, they, yeah, they can't come back from that. All right, hit him with the Yoinky Sploinky. And let's do one more for the road. Let's do one more for the road. Gonna end the stream a little bit early tonight so I can get to cleaning my house. Cause if you look, I, I know on camera, I look like I don't have everything together. In real life, it's far worse than you could imagine. So I need to clean my house tonight.